Hey guys, Jesse here and welcome back to my Young Justice Reaction series. Today we're moving on to Season 3, Episode 4. So on the last episode, we finished off the first arc of Season 3. Dick Grayson's little mini mission went very wrong and ended up with the death of a child, or I guess a monster child, who was not taken out by the bad guys, but by a random farmer with a shotgun. But it seems that we have two new members of the team. One is a slightly undead girl who can revive herself, heal people, create shields, and has a interesting, slightly otherworldly connected to a new god technology. And the other guy is a rich boy who has magma powers. One of them I'm much more interested in. But nope, it was an interesting first arc considering where um, last season left off with, you know, new god stuff. But I have a feeling that like everything's going to be, you know, connected back to apocalypse in some way, shape, or form, or if not apocalypse, at least light, because they're still out there. The most intriguing thing, I think, from the first three episodes so far has been, you know, this mysterious semi-dead girl because she has just a lot going on just a lot going on and I'm interested to see what they're going to do with her like in the story but I think that's all I have for my preamble so let's go ahead and jump into the episode oh boy. first coffee then talk god he's gone full dad hasn't he dad beard to dad bod you still have the thing today I can't cancel. Speaking of our house guest and who should be responsible for her. <sighs> I know. This was his mission. I know. So, where is he? Where's Dick? <laughs> he says Dick's name like the curse word. <sighs> they keep showing Didn't good VR and again. like a good. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Kind of like products. That can't be a coincidence. <laughs> he is very yelly. Hey, this is Dick. You know what to do. It's Jeff. Again. I put Dr. Jace up in the Jesus the Christ, rain. Dick, did you pull a Batman? Just because disappear? Because I actually don't know what else to do with them. No, you did he just drop all of his problems on other people? We'll be there. We'll be ready. That's right, ma'am. At Bow Hunter Security, we're always on. Bow Hunter. Oh my God. Oh, it's my pleasure. We'll see you. Clone soon. Squad. Let me guess. You fellas are in need of some top of the line security. Am I right? Clone Squad. Not exactly. I have solid intel on a metahuman trafficking ring right here in Star City. Look, Roy and Jim are on board. But you know, I thought we'd make it an All Harper mission. <laughs> all Harper and one Grace. Are you in or not? Hmm. I know you're doing that on purpose. Mm. <laughs> I guess I could make the time. Great. So here's He's such a little shit. Only if you guys help me out with something first. I'm game. So is Clone Roy not in the like in this getup? <laughs> no. Superhero business anymore? So, you help me today? I help you tonight. Fine, let's just go. It's nice to see that he's happy now. Like doing company softball. Anything about your life? Sorry. So, um, if you can't remember anything, why the job? It, it feels right. Okay? Of course. Of course. Look, no. don't worry. Nightwing's running. Harvest is sweet. Oh, no, I had a previous appointment I need to keep, but it might help you out too. Appointment? I was assuming a therapist. This does not seem like a therapist. Fate? I thought maybe you could give her a mystic once over or something. Is that still Satana's father? I 
sense an old soul in this very young body. But who is fate to judge such things? Wait, what? Uh, hi, Zatanna. Oh, oh. Child of magic. Do you, you understand, understand the terms of our agreement? agreement? Yes. One hour. Just like last year and the year before that. Oh, oh, no. Be grateful Nabu grants you this boon at all. Fuck, this is gonna hurt. Video game accessories. Jim, you need to spend less time with your geraniums. These are top of the line virtual and augmented reality goggles. Mm, those are like mind control totally goggles, immersive. right? Everybody's into these. I have a girl sleeping over. Over at your place. I know. Over my couch, Dick. Two feet over my couch. So you're saying she's a conversation piece? <laughs> I'm saying someone needs to have a serious conversation about what to do with her long term. Don't run away from your responsibilities. Not exactly going me. Hmm. American genetically modified beef. Bitch, how, why did you eat a hot dog like that? Meat is so gamey. Jefferson, thank you. After what I did. She did. She did it. We've been through this already. Bedlam coerced you. I thought I could help by being there to watch out for the children. I was a fool. We all make mistakes we can't take back. I'm more concerned about Brion and Halo's tomorrows. I feel responsible for them, as if they were my own children. Hey, I'm a dad with my own two bundles of responsibility. Then you do understand. Look, I know you can't arrest people for being ugly. These aren't the right drivers. Their credentials check out. The clipboard doesn't lie. He's one of Brick's thugs. To the SUV! Brick? Okay. This feels like a lot of work for some VR stuff. But sure. Most of these people have gone to space. You are trying to unwind. I'm fine. I have no need to unwind. Trust me, you're wound. His brother just kicked him out of the country. <laughs> Plus, he's kind of a rage monster. So right up your alley. <sighs> yeah. Dick's kind of being a dick so far. Besides, Sphere doesn't need my help. This bike does. It needs you. <laughs> it's a machine. I don't understand. Here. Clean that clutch spring. Then maybe you will. But is Superboy gonna go all karate kid on this prince? Okay. Teaching through manual labor. Cops with grapnels? How much do they pay these guys? <laughs> Hopefully a lot. An old soul in a very young body. Does that mean anything to you? Do you remember anything? I don't think in the cemetery. Whoever died didn't come back. I think instead it's the essence of the mother box. credentials so private security seems pretty mm -hmm. sweet yeah decent money benefits and i get home in time for dinner with leon you rent cops cannot be making enough scratch for this <laughs> i own the company too bad for you man my insurance premiums <laughs> oh they're adults <laughs> Last time I asked you for a favor, I love that SUV. Hey, this is your gig. At least we don't have to worry about Brick. We are here for your friends, but we do not talk to them. We are not with them. We're not here for this part. Oh, 
God, a fucking hour? No, please, Daddy. It isn't fair. It's not enough time. I know. But if we do not hold to the letter of the agreement, Nabu will never give us another opportunity. I love you, Zatanna. And I'll see you next year. <laughs> God, this fate's a dick. I hate this fate. Anyway, I needed someone who knows the city. You needed someone who knows you. Do you low red heroes know how much this suit costs? Seriously? Hey, we're in the middle of a thing here. So, Dick's not okay. You needed someone to give you a reality check, to keep you honest, to tell you what no one else will tell the boss. <laughs> Well, fine. Well, he's not here, so I'll say it. What? What are you gonna say? You already know. You're dropping the ball with these Markovian kids. Taking care of strays wasn't the mission. Look, your dad took care of you, you know? Be more like Batman in this respect. Less like Batman than other ones. what the mission becomes. You know that. Those kids need you. Your team needs you. It was just one up. I don't do teams anymore. You do now. Hey, cut it out. Put me down. Uh, the guy makes a reasonable request. <laughs> Plus, he's really heavy. Oh, man. This ain't right. The thing. You gotta work on your phrasing. Come on, you know that. But no, Dick Grayson is a team player. He shouldn't be the leader of a team always. Who are you guys? Hunter security. Always on point. Hey, I mean, that's pretty good advertising for a security company. You were right. Of course I am. I'm older and wiser. You're a clone. You're the youngest guy here. Hey, I'm older than Jim. But I'm prettier. <laughs> I'm make it right with Halo, Brion, and Jace. <laughs> Never doubted it for a moment. All goggles present and accounted for, boss. Sounds like the beginnings of a Harper family business. Don't push it. Baby steps? Now, I believe there's uh. one more thing on our to-do list. I like that this is the afterthought. I think we look better in our bow hunter security uniforms. No, you do not. So that was my reaction to season three, episode four of Young Justice, Private Security. I do think that Dick Grayson kind of needed a reality check. Um, I'm glad that, I need to stop calling him Clone Roy. Will is the one to do it. Um, I think it kind of needed to be someone from the original team. Like someone who's like known him since the beginning. And the problem that I have with this arc is, it's kind of the arc that Dick Grayson had last season where he was acting too much like Batman, he was keeping secrets, he wasn't being a team player. And now it's like the same thing of like, uh, you're acting too much like Batman again, you're thinking about the mission instead of the people. It is nice to see Will and Roy and, mm, I forgot Guardian's first name, Roy's uncle, but a clone of Roy's uncle. Fuck. But you know, Clone Squad. And seeing them all together was fun. It was just a very fun episode on the uh, security side. Um, I do not trust those goggles, the good goggles. 
having them show up once, sure, but we've seen good branded stuff a lot. Um, and whenever it's virtual reality, I'm like, that's going to be mind control, probably. Right? There's no way that that's just innocent, intense virtual reality. What it has to do with everything else, that's where I have no theories besides. The thing is, the light wanted to control people originally with soft drinks, so this just might be another way of going about it, just branded differently. Um, I mean, I guess it could be Apocalypse. Uh, I do think it would be kind of funny if Darkseid was sending people down to make virtual reality uh, helmets instead of, you know, his normal stick of just, you know, coming down and wrecking shit. I would love to see that meeting though, it's just like, oh, we're going to invade Earth? Cool, sir, what do you want me to do? Go decide and go create virtual reality helmets. But no, I don't think I have a lot to say about, like, the dick uh, clone squad um, part of the episode, other than him excellently calling Will while really hurt. Wally West is the best, and I'm sad he's dead, and, you know, there's no replacement for your best friend. And Wally was the one who would just always, like, call Dick out when he was being a dick, so... I think he does need someone who can just tell him to cut his shit out uh, every once in a while. The other half of the episode was also ha heartbreaking, but also felt kind of tacked on. I wish we would have spent more time with that, with Zatanna only being able to see her father for one hour every year. Ugh. Like, how many years has it been at this point since... Uh, Satana's dad made the deal so she could be free. Cause she was like 13. What, it's gotta be like 10 years now? So only being able to see your dad for 10 hours since he made the deal with fate. And he's gone like gray now cause he's, you know, getting older and just the passage of time showing. Man, this Dr. Fate, or I guess Nobu, or whatever entity resides in the helmet, is kind of the worst in this. Like, I'm pretty sure Kent Nelson in the comics isn't this trapped with Nobu. Well, actually, is Kent Nelson currently the entity that inhabits the helmet? I'm not entirely sure what the current uh, status quo of Dr. Fate is, because sometimes there's an entity in the helmet, sometimes the original Dr. Fate is the entity in the helmet now. I don't know if that's the current thing going on. DC's weird. Continuity and comics are weird, so it's hard to keep track. And uh, my knowledge of Dr. Fate is minimal. But I don't think he's this bad, you know? But also I think in the comics, Nobu is a little less possessy. It's more of like a, it's a more give and take kind of relationship than you put on this helmet and Nobu takes over your body and then becomes, you know, the worst boss ever. But I think it hit hard, that scene, but I just wish that we would have lingered on that a little more. I just wish we would have seen the conversations that Tana and her dad were having, because that's what that should be about, but it was more about Artemis and Halo which is fine, but it feels like they shouldn't be the focus of those scenes. I don't know. I just wish we would have seen more of that. Mostly because I really like Zatanna. Zatanna's really cool. And uh, she doesn't get a lot of extra stuff, usually, um, in, you know, cartoons or movies or TV shows or what have you, so. But yeah, I think this was altogether a fine episode. Um, I am glad we're dealing with some of like the uh, emotional repercussions of the last season. I do hope we see more plot. I like a mix of character moments and plot and you know, I want to see apocalypse stuff mostly. Yeah. 
So that was my reaction to season three, episode four of Young Justice Private Security. If you like this episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and keeps me motivated to keep making more of these. So thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.